Hey everyone and welcome to another GTA discussion video and this is going to be a little bit of a rambling video about something that's kind of caught my attention and caught my uh, imagination if you like and it's this what you're seeing on the screen right now it's basically a brand new game mode that has been entirely created from the minds of the people in my community you know the Nodo community have been sort of going over this and working out different rules and all that kind of stuff and just having a lot of fun with it and it's basically a big game of hide and seek so you've got a team it's basically in a uh, last team standing format you've got a team of hiders and a team of seekers the team of hiders have to blend in with the the ai and and try to remain unseen whereas the seekers in the police cars that's what i'm in at the minute have to basically take them down and this is what i do here you know that i know that there's one person left and I just got an inkling that that was a real person there and not a, not an AI driver and we, we won that round and, and the next clip that you'll see is the role reversal of that where I am trying to hide myself and it's quite interesting what happens and you do get some sort of crazy crazy things going on in these uh, in these these game modes but this is something that the the guys in my crew have been doing for a few weeks now and I just decided to sort of take part in one of these to see what it was like and it really did catch my imagination and it, it, it kind of leads me on to sort of what I feel is best for the future of GTA and what's going to sort of make GTA uh, a, a sort of continue far into the future and I think it's things like this to be honest. So just to point out before you know so you so you understand what you're watching everybody has their maps turned off in this game mode um, and you have to have that trust that everybody in the in the session is going to be doing that but everybody has their maps turned off and everybody has their player overhead displays turned off so as you can see you know i'm just trying to blend in with the ai traffic here and two police cars have gone straight past me um this is this is the whole idea of hide and seek and you, you do have to have that trust which is why it only really works with a small number of people who are who are only really playing to have a bit of fun with it they're not really playing to win specifically they're, they're just having a bit of fun and enjoying the game and enjoying their time uh, in this in this game and in this game mode at this point as you can see i kind of get found out a little bit by this police car so i decide to bolt and just go for it and it becomes a bit of a chase um and that that's what this whole game mode is about you know it's it's about trying to blend in so that these police cars can't see you because otherwise you know th there's no map there's no overhead displays the only way that they're going to be able to see that it's a real player is possibly by the things that you're wearing which i didn't really help myself with what i was wearing because i was i'm pretty recognizable with my character um and also the way that you act in game so if you sort of drive erratically or, or you're a pedestrian and you walk run around all that kind of stuff uh, have a weapon out stuff like that as, as a as a hider you've got to try and avoid doing all of that and you've got to try to blend in as best you can with the ai it's all in a in a sort of constricted area so you can't go too far you also can't go off road you have to stay sort of in in certain areas and, and follow the rules really and like i said you know that's why it's important that you have people who are willing to follow the rules and and help with help with things like that and it, it, it wouldn't be possible in a random lobby but I, I I personally feel that it should be possible in random lobbies and it should be Rockstar that allows us to create game modes like this that can be officially supported for everybody you know for example the only things that really need this to work are restricting the area that you can that you can be in uh, remove the map, remove the overhead displays of the player names over the top, and give give weapons to uh, the police, and don't give weapons to the the, the hiders. Um, just one point that I also need to point out is that uh, when when you are the police, you aren't allowed to uh, to kill somebody from your car. So you have to get them stopped first. You can you can pop their tires but you, you have to get them stopped first and get out of your car before you can then start shooting at somebody and try to kill them. And obviously it's the, the police's job to kill all of the people who are trying to hide. So at this point, I, I, I obviously I decided to try and change my car, but it didn't quite work out very well. Um, and I have to sort of go on this chase again, but later on, I you know not, not too far from this, I decided to try and change my car as well again. Um, and it actually works this time. And I go back to being 
blending in with the the AI again and, and because I managed to get my car changed despite being run over a couple of times they now don't know what car I'm in and I'm able to sort of pass go past a few police cars um, who are obviously other real players on the other team without them knowing who I am and without them stopping for a while until they finally catch on so and I don't know how that police bike didn't see me of course but yeah you know th there's very little things that you need to to sort of set in stone for this to work and obviously as it stands right now this is all based on trust so you have to trust that people are going to turn off their maps people are going to turn off the the names above players and stuff like that but I, I feel like Rockstar should use the content creator to give us the option to force that so you know, when you create a job, you can force the maps to be turned off. You can force pretty much any option that you want to create these unique game modes where you don't necessarily have to be following rules or have a group of people who you, who you have to trust to follow the rules to, to do it successfully. And I think that really does, really would extend the longevity of this game. I think it would really help with that because what other game could you do something like this in? What other game could you create your own game mode out of out of nothing really um, and, and have so much fun with it? And th I can speak from experience that this is a really fun game mode and if this was officially in the game as a as an official game mode from Rockstar, then it would it would definitely be one of the most fun to play. And we've we've seen this happen before, you know, like with the busted game mode that we did that turned into a live video. Um, I'll put the link to that in the description. We've also done it with various race events, you know, the multi-class endurance stuff and the uh, the rally cross events that we've done. They none of those are officially supported in the game either. But we've been able to create our own race tracks and then enforce some rules, such as you know, starting grid formations and things like that. That everybody will follow so that these events can run smoothly and it's just kind of an extension of that and I, I would like to see that we get a little bit more freedom with what we're able to do probably the content creator with you know this is the, the on, really the content creator is the only way you can sort of do things like this um, and I do think the content creator is one of those things that is really going to sort of be the, the be the main thing that keeps GTA fresh and interesting and and this is such a refreshing game mode to be playing because it's something completely new and completely different even two years after the games already came out and it's something that the community has thought up of themselves and and for me I think the community can probably do a better job with creating all of these fun game modes than Rockstar can themselves it's more for Rockstar to focus on creating new cars or new content in that way um, and, and give us the freedom to create the event that we want and, and realize that this is such a creative game that that sort of stuff should be possible. Um, so just to let you know, at this point, my uh, my my, rear, my tires get popped and this is kind of where it goes to the end. I'm aware that there's only Drubert left on, on my team. So I'm basically just trying to keep the police off me from killing me for as long as possible um, to give him as much time to stay hidden. But when I actually saw what uh, what he'd done to stay hidden, I was absolutely amazed because uh, this is him. So he's the only one left. There's five police, uh, five five seekers on the other team, and they have no idea that he's just walking around, blending in like a regular pedestrian. And it just blew my mind because I'd been stuck in this idea that I had to be in a car all the time. Um, and then I saw this, and it was just fantastic. And we end up winning this round because... There's police cars going past him all the time and none of the other team are able to even see him or aware who he is. Uh, it's just so cool to see that. Um, but yeah, this is the sort of thing that I think can make GTA last even longer and be continue to be refreshing. So let me know all your thoughts down below about this game mode, about the idea that we should be given a bit more freedom with you know what we can do and also with the cars that we can buy and all that kind of stuff to make this kind of stuff relevant and, and make it available to everybody without having to sort of go through all of those trust things and allow and have people uh you know 
follow the rules without you actually knowing whether that's what they've really done so let me know all your thoughts down below this was a bit of a rambling video but i haven't done one in a while so i figured i might as well and this game mode did just catch my imagination a little bit so let me know all your thoughts down below uh, thank you very much for watching i appreciate the support as always and i'll see you next time